Okay, so here we have 1.1 meter long road rotates about an axis through one end and perpendicular to the road with angular speed of 3.8 revolution per second. So the omega is given here. Omega is 3.8 revolution per second. So you have to basically convert it into radians per, per second, which means you just have to multiply 3.8 by 2 pi, and that will give you radians per second, okay? Uh, the plane of rotation of the rod is perpendicular to the uniform magnetic field, so B is given, B in this case is into the page. The value of the B is 1.3 Tesla. Calculate the EMF induced across the end of the rod. So you have to find EMF. Okay, uh, now since we have a rod, we have to take very decimal, a uh, very small piece of it, and I call it dr, and dr element is far away from the axis of rotation by r, and total length of the rod is L. Okay, now we know that uh, EMF is equal to the uh, uh, B V X okay uh, and as good let's make it R okay because we are interested to see what's happening at this range uh, DVR then this R is small so I call it DR here this is DE so DEMF is equal to B, V, D, R, but in general formula is EMF is equal B, V, L, right? But however, we are looking for a small piece of it, and then we're going to integrate to find the total EMF in L, okay? So let me continue. The V is equal uh, to the omega R, D, R. Then after that, uh, if you want to find a total EMF, then you have to integrate b omega r dr which is equal to the b omega uh, that gives you r squared over 2 right and if you want to put the limit it's from 0 to l so that will give you total emf which is equal to the b omega l squared over 2 okay uh the l is given or not yeah l is given uh Omega is given, B is given, so that's it. If you plug the numbers, you should get the answer.